Welcome back to The Witcher Enhanced Edition. We have finally made it to Chapter 3 and this is the Trade Quarter. You can see the soldiers are practicing in the background there. We've been given a task by Triss to place the three magic sensors somewhere uh, around this area. Um, I think we need to place one in the, uh, in the cemetery, uh, one by the sewers and one in the town hall. Um, otherwise, we need to um, to wait until 6 p.m. And uh, the merchant Louvarden is having a what is this place here? The watchtower door. The merchant Louvarden is having a, some kind of a party tonight, and uh, we've been invited. So I guess we need to to go along to that. Can we enter this watchtower? Hmm, the guardhouse. Order. Ah, The order has strengthened Vizima's defense. Oh, I need to sell my stuff as well. We, I've got a lot of junk, and um, I'm probably going to have to sell it. Oh my goodness. Uh, a chain mace. Critical, critical effects done, 40%. And let's go and grab the flint as well. Uh, is there anything else that I can grab? I can't grab that strawberry. Okay. Uh, there is a there are, there are stairs going down though. Let's just go and grab the uh, the loot there. Grab the Orin. And is there anyone else we need to talk to? A few city guards. We might as well just grab uh, everything that we can. Now with the forces in the city, we have little to do. They enlisted our We're not trained to fight. This must uh, just be another exit. Um. Okay, that's interesting. This takes us out uh, somewhere else in the city. Where are we now? Uh, we're down to the new Narakot Inn. It's just just around the corner here, but there is a, an armorer here. Did the guild send you? No one sent me. Forgive me. They chased me from the market when I refused to join the guild. I'm only interested in what you have to offer. Sorry for my hasty judgment. Please look. Why won't you join the guild? Someone's trying to take over the guild, and I hate rules that force me to give free arms to some and refuse business to others. Who's taking over the guild? Someone with powerful links. Even the richest merchants are fearful. Vast quantities of weapons are requested, which could only be for the Grand Master or the King. Okay, let's see if he wants to buy something. We've got... Uh, some of these whetstones, they don't actually do a lot, so I'm, I'm going to sell the whetstones. We've got the uh, the grindstone here, which is a little bit better. And he's also selling some, some better armor, a leather jacket. Which has a lot better stats than the one we're using. Um, it is going to cost 5,000. I think that's the same one that we saw in the... Um, is it the trade quarter? No, the merchant quarter. Um, Two-handed axe. Hmm. The two-handed axe is actually better than the one we've got. But um, I'm gonna hold on to my. Uh, a stone would be good as well. Or temporarily. Okay. So there's a rune stone there, but it only works temporarily, increasing damage by twenty percent. Uh, let's not worry about that for now. Um, bomb base, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here and see. Oh, hello, poor boy. You're huge and ugly. Well, you're. What's this? Well, let's not worry about. Grant me um, a moment. Sure. Noble sir. Are you propositioning me? No, sir. I await a proposition from you. Three hundred ninety. Goodness. I'm disappointed. Gee. I'm disappointed. I can't. I'm disappointed. Oh, I can't talk to her anymore. She's too disappointed. Uh, we'll have to try again a little bit later. Uh, there is a notice board here, and uh, this must be the new Narakot Inn. So let's check out the quests. The Arch Spore Contract, Graviers, Cockatrice, Fledders, Ghouls. Kikimore, I haven't seen those before, and the Wivens. That's probably in the swamp, is it? 
The new Narakot Inn seeks a supplier of fresh wiven meat. We need three steaks. Inquire with the innkeeper. Okay. I've actually run out of space to grab the, the rest of the, uh, the quest books. Uh, the quest notices. So I'm just going to go and sell most of my stuff to the waitress. We can um, use the, the storage with the innkeeper and then check out the rest of those uh, those notices over there. We've got a whole bunch of new people here to have a chat with. Patrick De DeWazy, uh, wealthy townswomen. Uh, this is definitely a much wealthier area. Um, Patrick. A witcher? They said your kind was extinct. Very nearly. I'm Geralt. I'd rather not reveal my true name, my knightly vows. If you wish, you may call me Patrick de Wazy. <clears throat> of the, uh, Flaming Rose? Indeed, I'm a member. Perhaps you could lend me some assistance. With what? My sister. Will you hear her story? One day we found her unconscious in bed. Blood trickled from fang marks on her neck. We had no doubts. A vampire. Fang marks don't necessarily mean a vampire. These clearly did, for after a time, my sister disappeared. She must have been transformed and then escaped. If she is a vampire, I'll have to. Above all, I would like you to find her. Confirm our suspicions. All right. I'll look for your sister. You should have no trouble recognizing her. None can ignore her as your eyes. She is a slim, beautiful blonde. Ah, yeah, the the Queen of the Night or something? There's a, uh, a house called the Queen of the Night or the Lady of the Night. Um, and she was down the bottom and she was asking for like 2,000 orans or something. There's but... a blue-eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. My sister would never degrade herself, so... I have no proof, but this woman matches your description. Obtain proof. My family's honor is at stake. I'll do what I can. Well, maybe we can go back and have a chat with her. There is. Do not anger me further. Okay, I can't we talk to him about uh, anything else. Anyone else here I can talk to? There is a merchant. Uh, we do have a party up here at six o'clock. It's currently uh, ten thirty, so we've got. Master Luvarden requests your company at six. We've still got a lot of time uh, to explore the rest of this area. And I can probably go and do some um, some boxing as well. Maybe make a few Orin and uh, become the, the local champion. Where is the wait waitress? Oh, there she is there. No need for testiness. I'll tend to this matter and then I'm all yours. Stand still. Okay. Um, I guess we should sell some stuff. I do need to clear out my inventory here. Dwarven Spirit. Uh, I want to hold on to all of the potion bases. I don't really need the candy here. Let's go and sell... Let's go and sell, sell all this stout here. Goat's milk. Um, and it looks like she's selling some potion bases as well. High quality potion bases. Let's go and buy these. Uh, they are fairly expensive, but we really need them to make um, all of the swallow potions and cat potions. There we go. Um, okay. Let's go and put the rest of the stuff in storage. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? Uh, okay, we've got the notice with the Wivens. Let's go and uh, put some stuff away in storage. Okay, I've got some books here as well. I may just put these books into storage for now and... 
uh, later on when I find someone who's prepared to buy them then I can come back and grab them uh, let's go and put uh, some of these potions and things away as well some wolf pelts stemmel for dust we're not making bombs at the moment let's go and put the um, uh, the meteorites away the diamond dust I may like to hang on to some of that blizzard potion cat potion Oh, I haven't read this one yet. Petri's filter formula augments the intensity of all signs. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've got some uh, potion bases here that I'm just going to hang on to. Hangman's Venom uh, poisons wounded opponent, opponents. We've got some sugar dolls as well. Um, do I have any swallow potions? I've got some in the hot slot. I've got one swallow potion in the hot slot, so we can always make a few more of those. That would be fantastic. Um, sapphire, do I want to carry around this sapphire? Probably not. Okay, there we go. I've got uh, some free space now, and let's go and have a chat with the innkeeper again. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? Lovely inn. You must host many an illustrious guest. True, though not many since this state of emergency. Any other interesting customers? You are nosy. Terrible fault. I have a terrible fault too. I'm greedy as hell. <laughs> Hmm. 233 orans. He is greedy as hell, isn't he? I knew we'd agree. I've got nothing against gossiping about my customers now. I'm listening. Oh, these suspicious types have been coming here for a while. The soldiers ignore them. I gather they wear salamander symbols. You know them. Ever listen in? They speak softly. I've heard very little. I'm sure they've said something interesting. Hmm. I overheard them talking about a password to an underground complex. Was it a workshop? What was the password? One said the word Thorn. Thanks for the information. Bye. Thorn. Okay. Okay, it looks like we have a password or part of the password into some underground complex. And uh, we've got some uh, boxing over here, the tough fist fighter. It looks like this guy is the champion, even though he's really skinny. Let's have a chat with him. I was once invincible, the great white hope. Huh? Now I loiter around cesspools because of one fight. You were a warrior? A boxer. I had fans galore. Women, gold, and now? What happened? Judges disliked blows below the belt. They disqualified me. I see. I fought until... Until? I fought the lion. Did he? One punch. Deadly. And I realized I'd never win. I've worn a hood ever since to avoid being recognized. After one punch? It was a spiritual transformation. I can take you. A wager, huh? 200 orins. I'm in. Well, that went pretty much as I expected, and uh, we took him down really, really quickly there. I think he only only hit Gerald once, and there uh, should be an extra 200 orange. Did you orange. train with the lion? I'm a witcher. 
I win. Take your prize. Okay, so we've got a choice here. The Meteorite Steel and the Runic Stone. I think we need one more Meteorite to upgrade our sword, actually. I'll take the Meteorite Steel and the Runic Stone. Take it and be gone. Usually I, I just want the gold, but... Whoops. Have a quick look at this. Yeah, I've got one more Meteorite, um, which is a weapon upgrade. I've got three of them now. And we've got the, Svar the Svarog Rune, which increases damage by 40%. Uh, if we get into a tough battle, I can always use that. Just going to drop some of this stuff back off the innkeeper. Busy now. Oh, okay, I can't, can't talk to him again for now. So, oh, Dandelion. We had a party with him in Chapter 2 uh, with Shani. I um, wasn't expecting to see him here. Geralt, I'm glad you're here. I'm not in the mood for music, Dandelion. We'll talk later. Geralt... I promised to perform for all these people, and I don't have my loot. Then you have a problem. Geralt. What happened to your loot? Hmm. Long story. Tell you over a drink? Oh, my God. Um, I don't really have time to drink right now. It's the middle of the day, and we're waiting for a party. So let's hold off on this one. Well. Okay. We'll talk to him later. Now, maybe tomorrow. Um, I don't want to sleep through the uh, the party tonight, Luvarden's party, with all of the uh, important people coming along. And I do want to explore the rest of this town as well. I guess I can grab these notices now and uh, um, start these quests. Uh, the Kikimore contract. The Kikimores are evil and wretched, and therefore Velarad. Right Honourable Ruler of Zima has posted a reward for their death. Ten Claws. I don't know where they are, so I guess we're going to find out. Um, I need five Cockatrice Feathers. We'll pay well. Inquire with the Scribe at Town Hall. Okay. I need three vials of Archspore Juice. We'll pay Jethro the Jailer. Okay. Um... On behalf of King Foltest, Burgermeister Velarad will reward anyone who can slay five graviers. Their bones have to be delivered as proof. Um, for the fangs of vampires known as Fledders, which stare on rest in Vizima, Burgermeister Velarad has set a reward. To collect the coin, the hunter needs to produce proof. Okay, so we need the fangs of Fledders. And ghoul contract here as well. Twelve ghouls. So, okay, we've got a lot, a lot to do there. Uh, a lot of um, monster hunting. Drunkard. Where every ring is that special ring. Must be the a jewelers around here somewhere. Let's take a quick look at the map. City sewers, the Maribel Gate, the Herbalist. Blacksmith, Triss's house. Yeah, the Queen of the Night over there, so we need to go and talk to her again. Uh, there is a sensor location over here, so we may as well work our way towards... Scheme of foot. Uh, ...towards this sensor location. Blacksmith is down here. Let's go and have a chat with him. Greetings. My specialities involve more than common blacksmithery. You're a swordsmith? Someone who understands. Can I help? I'd like my sword enhanced. Before I evaluate the sword, you must fetch me a gemstone. A gemstone? Why not gold? I dislike taxes and guild payments. Thus, I prefer goods in exchange for my services. What do you want? A precious stone suitable for the hilt of a weapon for Count DeWet. 
I had a sapphire. I think I put it away in storage, so I will have to come back. Um, oh, we're getting angry. Who's vendor? I'm not playing that. The Order of the Flaming Rose is our only hope. Fight for humanity's good and salvation. Okay, we kind of have joined the Square Tail already. I'm not sure if we'll, we'd be allowed into the Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, there is a bookseller over there. And an Book arms dealer right, here. Finally, someone will appreciate my wares. What are you peddling? Previously, I dealt in farm tools. But lately, weaponry is more profitable. Weaponry? Uh, it's pretty much the same as we saw last time. Uh, with the same leather jacket there. I don't have... I don't have money for it, unfortunately. There is a bookseller here, though. Eh? A good book, perhaps. I thought only wholesalers came to market. Retailers enjoy good business too. Okay, let's have a look and see what he's got. A lot of books here. The Dragon Dream. The Road of No Return. We've read that one already. Elemental Genies. We've got the Fish People. Maybe we can figure out what um, sacrifice we need to put in their monument because um, last time I saw them that looks like it looked like uh, they were waiting for a sacrifice and I didn't know what to what to place in there but maybe we can figure that out if we buy that book uh, we've got the George Herbarium I've seen that one before plants book of minerals insectoids vampires okay I wish we could order these by the books that we've already read I've read a lot of them Dragon's Dream, not yet. Field Plants. Uh, what else have we got? Secrets of the so Southern Masters. A few bombs there. Book of Minerals. And, okay, Lara's Gift. Okay, so we've actually read most of them. There's a couple here. The Insectoid, the Vampire one. Um, about five or six hundred each, so let's just hold off on that. Um, what else do we have around here? The arms dealer. We've got uh, a few more vendors. Quite a few vendors over here, actually. If you're drawn to the secret arts, especially alchemy, you're certain to want my wares. Do you make potions? No, I'm a mere merchant. Hmm. Pouch of Salt, a wraith repelling talisman. He's got some books here as well the Book of Minerals and uh, the Small Book of Minerals. Optima Matter. Okay. A mandrake root. Okay, so he's selling all of that stuff. Can we sell off some of our? Oh, we can sell off our, our items down here as well. I'm inclined just to hang on to everything that I've got. Just in case I need it in the future. So, okay, let's go and have a look at the, I think, the booze. Albedo. Is there a booze seller? Yes. Um, there is a Zerikanian trader. Exotic goods from Zeracania, fragrant with roots. Okay, you don't look Zeracanian. Not that I know what a Zeracanian looks like. You don't look Zeracanian. Do royal sell royal strong ale? Fair enough. Okay, plants of barren lands. We've got uh, field plants and the Druid's herbarium. So, more books here. I've got uh, some flowers here already, white roses. Is there anything else we want? Uh, not really. So he's just, he's just got some fruits and things like that. Um, okay. Cool. Oh, there's a bank back there. A wood trader. A wink was that? Plow secrecy. 
all know I sell information. What'll it be? Ooh, he sells information, does he? Sure. Once leader of the Order of the White Rose, Jacques de Aldersburg renamed it the Order of the Flaming Rose. Besides King Foltest, his authority is unmatched, and his religious fervor exceeds that of fanatics. Is that it? You're kidding me. Can I... Can I pull out my sword? No. Okay. I didn't ask for a history lesson. I wanted some gossip. The best goods in the civilized world. Oh, there's the booze vendor. Okay. Welcome. Noble beverages and other goods. Any alcohol? Forbidden by royal edict. Um, no alcohol, huh? Let's just... We may need that in the future, but for now, we're going to leave him be. There is a textile vendor here as well. I spit on the damned speculators and users. Oh, I spit on the damned Okay, we can't really users. have a chat with him. Now, I did see the bank around here somewhere. Where is this bank? Um, merchant... Alchemist. Maybe I should move. I can't remember where I saw this bank. Maybe I think it was back here, wasn't it? Oh, I work too much. Is this the ba oh yeah, the bank's here. Okay, cool. So is this Vivaldi's bank? Well, it used to be Vivaldi's bank. It's now it was purchased by someone else, or at least it's it's being controlled by someone else at the moment, so I guess we need to figure out what's going on there. This bank guard is... Well, oh, there's two of them. Okay. Uh, where's Vivaldi? Hello? Hello? Uh, I can't talk with him. I can't get out the back either. Um, okay, nothing for us to do here at the moment. Nothing for us to do here at the moment. Oh, is this one of the sensors that we need? Are we at that location? We are at that location. Okay. I've stumbled upon the relief, and uh, this is where we're going to put the, uh, the sensors here. So let's go and put one of them down here. There we go. Uh, two more to go. I'm just going to keep running around randomly and uh, see what we can find. What exit is this? Let's go to the Merchant's Gate. Temple Quarter. Um, the Merchant's Gate. I, I guess this is going to be locked, but I'm going to see if we can get through. Damn, it's hot in this thing. No. They've rushed us out without thought of our pay. Okay, it's 12.30, so we've got a, about another five hours before the, the party with Livard, and it looks like this this has been barricaded off uh, to that section of Vizima. Um, we need to head back to the... Damn, it's hot in this thing. To the Lady of the Night. The Queen of the Night, I think she's called. And uh, so see if she is the, the vampire. Uh, well, the lady that we're looking for. Um, anything else around here? There's a bit of Berbicane. <laughs> and uh, we probably have a bit of time to, to place all of the sensors down as well. I shall complain to Princess Ada about the soldier's brutality. So okay, door to the night house. Let's go and uh, speak with her again. 
and uh, see if she's going to give us a, a bit of information. Maybe she's the girl we're looking for. She kind of fits the description. The blue-eyed lass. Yes. I think your brother may be looking for you. I think your brother may be looking for you. What? No. I have no family. You sure? Entirely. This is my home. My sisters of the night. I must be mistaken. Yes. I'd like to spend the evening with you. With pleasure, white-haired one. But you must first make a contribution to the House of the Night. A mere 500 orins. Um, 500 orins. How about... I've put all of my gemstones away. And clothing away. You just... Okay, so... Who else is in here? Quarterson. Alright. Hmm. Let's... Let's look for the other sensor locations. Once that's done, then uh, we'll uh, make our way back to the inn for the uh, Luvarden. Know your place, Witcher. Uh, party, which is going to be at six o'clock. Now, I think the other one is there's one in the Temple Quarter, I think. So I might as well head head through here and uh, get this one done first of all, and then we can go through the cemetery and place the third one, and uh, that should be that quest complete. And we'll have to head back to Triss and see what she says about that. Hopefully this chapter isn't going to be as tricky as the last uh, chapter. Vincent's here as well. Greetings. Any new monster jobs? I don't handle that anymore. Talk to the Royal Huntsman. He's stationed on a hill near the new Nara Court in the Trade Quarter. Farewell. There was a quest... Uh, for... what's his name? Down here. Jethro. Jethro wants something. I can't remember what it was, though. You? <laughs> we must speak. About what? You won't toss me into the sewers again. <laughs> this is how it works. I describe a job. If you refuse, it's the dungeon for you. Like to gamble? I do. Gamble? I wager I can cut off your nose before you can sneeze again. A little edgy today, are we? Listen, I know the people with the salamander badge have long been after you. <laughs> I know where they can be found. Deal with them, and your problems are over. And, in the process, you'll help me out too. How about it? We'll see. Tell me what you know. Salamandra has nearly taken control of the drug trade. If no one stands against them... Why should I care? They're after you. Destroy them. Take the information you need and return here. Oh. And gather any drugs you find as evidence. <laughs> right, right, sure. An informer spoke of a dealer called Angus who holds some powder. He works in the slums. We must know where he gets his goods. He's often at the tavern. Which tavern? There's two of them. Uh, probably the taverns around here. Uh, so we need to find Angus. Okay. And I'm not giving all the drugs to Jethro either. Um, I'm sure there's somewhere else something else I can do with them. Um, okay. Yeah, the the relief was just outside the sewers here. So if I remember correctly, should be able to find my way back to the sewers. The gardener is here. Does he have any new uh, information for me? Look how they grow. Um, no. I may be able to sell something. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. Let's You're right. I'll show him. Okay, so the sewers is just down here. Uh, maybe we can speak to Angus now, I'm not sure. Okay, let's put down the magic sensor. And uh, that's the second one done. The the last one Possibly. is going to be in the cemetery. 
Shall we pop into the inn and see if we can find Angus? Just quickly, what is the time? Uh, it's one o'clock now, so we do have a little bit of time here. Let's see if Angus is actually down uh, in this inn here. And uh, we're back to the Hairy Bear Inn. Looking for a man named Angus. I don't know if he's, wonder if he's here. I don't know what inn he's actually going to be in. It said that he was in the slums, and this is this is a, a poorer area than the uh, the trade quarter. So I've actually looked in here before. Just gonna grab some of the some of the loot here. Let's not, not worry with that. Okay. Munro, I don't see Angus. How are things, Geralt? I'll find you later. Okay, maybe he is. Maybe he is in the other uh, trade quarter. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna head to the cemetery, uh, place the last. Society made me what I am. Unless he's one. Oh, there's Angus there. Yeah, lucky I checked. He is just hanging around here, isn't he? Who are you? No matter. You, Angus? What the fuck does no matter mean? I need some stuff. Who said I said anything? Hmm. Shall we lie or tell the truth? Um, Jethro. This is way over your head. You're making a big mistake. Spit it out. Who are your suppliers? Eat me. I'm out of here. Oh, damn it. All right, let's follow him. He doesn't run that fast. I'm going to find out where he lives. And um, hopefully it's not too far away. Don't want to let him out of our sight, though. Past our Saint Lebiota's Hospital here. Old age is no jest. Is this his house? Aha. Okay. We know where he lives. Shall I pursue this investigation? Let's have a quick look at the quests and uh, see what. Um, follow the thread. I should follow Angus and find out where he lives. Maybe he'll tell me more one on one. Okay. I guess we should. Have a chat with him then. Let's see if we can... I guess scare him a little bit into telling us what's going on. You're one stubborn son of a whore. I'll make you regret this. I asked nicely and got nothing. Maybe this will work. Oh god. Do I want to... I didn't want to attack him. Just wanted some information. Gee, alright, I didn't didn't exactly want to kill the guy. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk, but we have found something here. A silver signet ring. Hmm. Uh, we've got a letter of recommendation. Allows free movement through Salamandra territory. Uh, we've got Angus's key. Um, okay. Uh, the bearer of this letter is a good chap. Don't trouble him. Angus. Okay. And we were given uh, Angus's key as well. I wonder if that opens something around here. Um, can I not, can 
can't seem to get this to select. Or maybe I can't open this trunk. Um, okay, so I don't know what the key is for just yet. Maybe once we get into Salamandra territory, we'll be able to figure it out. Unfortunately, we killed the guy. And I just wanted to have a chat with him. So, anyway, let's go and place the last sensor. Then it should be just about time for Luvarden's uh, party. It's uh, four, no, sorry, two o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, Shani's house. I wonder if we could go back and have a chat with Shani. She's probably working uh, at the hospital at the moment. What's the world coming to? I need to save more. Damn it. What's this? Okay, let's place the last sensor. So that has been completed. Now we need to go and talk to Triss. Uh, we'll take that door out to the trade quarter as well. Just grab a few extra herbs uh, while I'm here. Oopsie daisy. Holy moly. Okay. Was that all? Or was it just one? I thought we needed to. I've got three flitter fangs already. Okay. Fangs of the vampire. Uh, so we've completed that quest. Fantastic. Let's head back to the trade quarter. I guess we can talk to Triss again as well. Um, it's not yet six o'clock, so we've got uh, a few hours, I think, and. We can figure out what Triss wants to do uh, with those sensors. I need to find out where the salamander are hanging out as well. I've got the, the letter now, and uh, I've got a, um, a key for some reason. Royal Huntsman. Uh, where is Triss's house? It's just over here. We'll see if she's... See if she's in. It's three o'clock, so we do have three hours. A witcher, hide your women. Have I been to this workshop? Oh, I have, that's right. I can't remember exactly what they wanted. Still here? What do you do? I'm developing a Philosopher's Stone. I'll share with you the gold obtained from the transmutation of lead and throw in free the guarantee of eternal youth. Seriously? I'm from the University of Oxenfurt. They hired me to improve the composition of the steel in arms production. Too brittle? Too expensive. It's nearly iron and very contaminated. Do you have alchemical ingredients for sale? I'm a scholar, not an alchemist. I despise superstition. Isn't alchemy a science? Rubbish. Magic and alchemy will disappear from the world. Science alone will remain. My friend Kolkstein considers himself an alchemist. 
Kalkstein? <laughs> we laugh at his pseudo-scientific mumbling. Did you peruse his metamorphoses? Hogwash, written in cloudy language meant to disguise the author's incompetence. Metamorphoses? Not bad. Can you imagine such insanity as the concept of substance codependence? Okay, um, <laughs> do I know what uh, Kalkstein talks about? Kalkstein writes about coexistence, not codependence, entirely different. Kalkstein denies that all substances are codependent. His hypothesis pertains to primary substances only. Uh, this one sounds the most intelligent. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Kalkstein denies that all substances are codependent. His hypothesis pertains to primary substances only. What a fool idea to divide substance in the first place. Uh, secondary substances don't appear of themselves. The distinction is justified. Secondary substances don't appear of themselves. The distinction is justified. I won't dwell further. Simply put, our argument turns on the essence of matter, the main argument against Kalkstein. By what miracle can the codependence of primary substances predicate the possibility of animating inanimate matter if in this so-called spiral of pseudo-life only five substances find place while coexistence presupposes the presence of six? Kalkstein contradicts himself. Oh, good God. Um... Only five substances find place while coexistence presupposes the presence of six. Transmutation of the chain means the spiral has the properties of the sixth substance. Transmutation of the chain means the spiral has the properties of the sixth substance. Not exactly. Kalkstein states that the motion of the chain has the properties of all three secondary substances comprising the pseudo-life chain, not the primary. Seriously? I'll review it. <sighs> Alright, I may need to go and talk to Kalkstein about that. I'm not quite sure how to deal with that guy. Uh, let's go and speak with Triss. I think Triss's house is around here somewhere. A witcher, hide your women. Are you ill? Uh, if she's here, she may not be in. She may be out until we meet at the teleport at Triss. Where does this go to again? Uh, I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, yeah, it looks like Triss may be out. We're going to meet her at the party anyway, which is going to happen at uh, 6 o'clock, which is in a few hours. So what I might do is just rest up for a little bit and uh, we'll be back in the next episode uh, getting ready for Levarden's party and uh, we're going to hobnob with uh, all of the uh, the important uh, people in this town so uh, that's all for now hope you are enjoying this playthrough we'll see you all again soon for the Witcher Enhanced Edition